Good evening, yeah. ladies and gents. Now, I feel like I haven't done one of these videos for a long old time, but there's the weekly patch notes. Stick me on in the background. I read them so you don't have to. Before we get into it, though, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please do so. Hit that like button, share this video around, and we'll get straight into the patch notes. First off, though, I want to go into something which Malv Vec, one of the community managers, actually posted onto the Discord earlier when she announced all of these changes now she has actually said they are going to be fixing the issues we are facing in territory wars this is including the queuing when joining a game server our team as well as developers where that a memory leak has recently occurred which has also affected the smoothness of the game with tomorrow's maintenance this should be solved if after the maintenance you still encounter memory leaks or delays or problems or issues during territory wars please report to the support team the information we receive will be forwarded to the developer for further improvements we are sorry that the above two problems have significantly hampered the smoothness of the game since the beginning of the new season thank you for your patience in helping us gather the data necessary to fix it so at last we've had something to actually come back and say that yes there are issues yes they are going to be doing something about it hopefully after tomorrow's maintenance everything will be solved i will hope to be honest that that is going to be the case but we shall see on saturday so going back into the patch notes then we are going to have a look at what is dropping tomorrow and there is quite a lot of stuff coming tomorrow so new content they have activated the following imperial showdown event fortunes bounty merchants mayhem donation event sign in event update to excavation sites more detailed information regarding the above events will be posted in a dedicated article tomorrow so keep an eye out for that fortunes bounty though any of you prepared or just about to spend sovereigns on anything in game hold off until the maintenance tomorrow because fortunes bounty will actually allow you to unlock some additional kind of rewards and stuff just for spending sovereigns just the content they have now a uh, limited time event on friday saturday and sunday between april the 4th and april the 14th siege and field battles as well as expeditions will not consume unit kits however attack and thieves pursuits and rebels will still consume kits as normal New player experience, the campaign of Sparrow Pass has been optimized, improved the performance of certain aspects in the early stages for newcomers and decreased the difficulty of enemy units in Mastery Commando when a new player enters the campaign through Unit Mastery. Ragdoll Physics, this was in the last patch notes, I'm not sure whether to put this back in again, but Ragdoll Physics, you can turn on the effect by going to Graphic Settings and Ragdoll System. Unit changes, changes have been made to the effects of unit loss in the world and unit resupply costs for some units. I'm not going to go through all this, but what they've done is actually changed a couple of the uh, nodes and everything like that on some of the units. Mainly, they have changed the decreased unit losses in the world, re unit resupply costs change the increased gathering amount, which actually makes the peasants and serfs and things like this a lot more useful out in open world the models or the uh, units that's going to be applied to are the serfs the tenant farmers the woodcutters village watchmen sword militia uh Demesne pikemen uh javelin militia pipe militia Demesne archers iron cap arcabusiers corsaliers Iron cap scout cavalry and then i'm going to go into the rest of them from this point but all of those have either had the resource gathering put on or they have had increased field damage um or increased ammo things like that so they, all they've done is remove the really really useless kind of notes and replace them with something that's actually going to be a little bit more useful going down the list though we've got settlement cavalry the node to decrease unit loss in the world unit resupplies have changed to increase movement speed Vanguard Archers, the same node has changed to increase ammo, increase health. Centenary Archers, increase siege battle damage, increase ammo. Namcan Archers, increase field battle damage, increase health. Prefecture Guards, increase slashing defense, blunt defense. And the Wu Wai Mansion Guard, they have had an issue resolved which may have stopped some of their attack judgments. I'm not quite sure what that means. But they have also increased the number of targets for Wu Wei Mansion Guards area attack. The Wu Wei, I am going to be making a video primarily on in the next couple of days. Very, very big burst damage unit, which actually is quite squishy. So 
gonna see actually if this changes anything tomorrow with them and then we have a load of bug fixes and optimizations so they've resolved an issue where unusable items can be purchased from the smuggler npc after the maintenance of the items will be retrieved and all spent on or will be returned resolved an issue concerning the effect of both shurikens of dual blades resolved an issue of incorrect no display for the assault training of the hashashins Resolved an issue where the left supply point for attacking the side on White Elf Fort was not functioning properly. Resolved an issue where units could not be controlled after using the siege engines as under certain circumstances. Resolved an issue of the anonymous display of the opening time from different regions. Resolved an issue of UI offset after joining the Imperial Restorationists. Resolved an issue of some ground textures in Daijang. Resolved an issue of the challenge voucher occasionally not working. The skills page for character specialization has been optimized. Optimizing closing pages on certain screens, you can now directly close them by clicking the X icon in the top right of the interface. The border fort preparation has been added to the stone steps. Resolved an issue of incorrect icons on some interface pages. Optimize the in battle UI for some information. Improved targeting of camel lances during charge, allowing them to better engage in close combat with their targets. Resolved an issue of prepared stance skill for Zwei handers. Resolved an issue where Schwitzdiener would continuously fire blessed arrows when a hero was killed. Resolved a bug where a supply point outside of the Kong Shi in Territory Wars was unusable. Added a teleportation NPC for Hao Jing in the main city region. Resolved issues with the room description for Kador. Resolved some issues in the novice missions and novice guidance. Resolved an issue of missing models for honor guard unit attire under specific circumstances. Optimized the overall broadcast for achievement notifications which will no longer appear during battle matches. Optimized the open world broadcast which will no longer appear outside of world matches. And finally, resolved an issue where the game might experience sudden stuttering during gameplay. Massive amount of bug fixes and optimizations, obviously coupled with Malvec's uh, message of hopefully they're going to be fixing the memory leaks and as well. Hopefully the game is going to feel a lot, lot smoother after this maintenance patch tomorrow. This maintenance patch, as always, will be dropping as a free update for Dragonwise. It's going to take about four hours or so and this will happen tomorrow morning but i will make a video on the Wu Wai mansion garden in the next few days like i said but please do let me know about all your thoughts of the game at the minute how we are doing are we looking good are we looking bad what are you worried about in the game i am going to make a specific video about my thoughts of where the game is currently going as well in the next few days but thank you very much for watching folks i hope you've enjoyed this video as always if you have not yet hit that subscribe button please do so hit that like button share this video around all that lovely fan doobie tested stuff and i hope to catch you out on the battlefield